It's only been approved here in the United States for about two months now, but stemless shoulder replacements are already being performed right here in Baltimore. ABC 2's Ashley James spoke with a local doctor about the procedure and has the details. Lisa Perkins retired from the police department after suffering from a shoulder injury. I used to be a police officer down in Annapolis and got in a fight with a drug dealer. Uh, injured my labrum, had surgery on my labrum, and I had some complications from that surgery. After seven years of dealing with the pain and waiting for new technology, Lisa had a stemless shoulder replacement. I was just in enough pain that it was time to get my shoulder looked at it again. Dr. Anand Murthy is the chief of the shoulder and elbow division of orthopedics at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital. He is one of just a handful of surgeons in the U.S. with extensive experience in stemless shoulder replacement. Stemless shoulder replacement has been FDA approved in the United States for about two months now. But we've been doing it in what's called an investigational device exemption, which is to trial these prostheses uh, in high volume centers. Over the last 40, 50 years, doctors were using stemmed shoulder replacements. The implant has a six, seven inch stem that goes down into the arm bone. While stemless is similar, just like it says, this one doesn't have that stem. The outcome is exactly the same, but we have much little, much less bone to remove, and we still have the nice contour, nice fit on the shoulder, and a great painless range of motion. Dr. Murthy says the surgery is less painful, less blood, and patients have an easier time recovering. I've done this now in about 20 patients. Uh, they've all gone home the day after or the morning after surgery. They wear their sling for about four to six weeks, but they are allowed to type, use their computer, eat. So who would benefit most from this surgery? Well, typically there are patients with osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. People have had trauma and have developed, you know, cartilage problems in the shoulder. Lisa had her stemless replacement five weeks ago and is already in less pain. She says she's looking at about three months until she's fully recovered. For ABC2 News, I'm Ashley James.